are two big topics being talked about right now in Halo Infinite. And one of those is definitely not the playlists available because there are no playlist changes for November 7th. But 343 does say provide feedback on the survey when it comes to the combat workshop for BTB Infection. The biggest topic right now it has to be the Master Chief CE armor set being put into the shop right now for 2,000 200 credits i mean this does look amazing right but this is this ce armor set we should have got way back in 2011 for the combat evolved anniversary i mean look at this boy also did you know that 77 percent of people watching this channel are not subscribed if you want to keep up to date with everything going on with halo and gaming well you know what to do then now it does state you get 18 items within this purchase if you do buy it but the thing is it doesn't really seem like 18 because what you get is definitely one this is a mark 7 armor kit so it's not its own core or anything like we saw previously in the leaks so you get this armor kit right here you do get the same coating you can apply to all your other armor sets as well which is a nice change like kind of true halo ce colorization right there they also give you this gray black out kind of carbon fiber look coating if you really are inclined to that one as well they kind of match along with that halo ce anniversary cover that we had way back in 2011 and then you have the same visor but it's just kind of a gold visor but again it's the one without any kind of texturing on it very much in line with what we had way back in 2001 with the original visor set that we had for master chief so you get the armor two coatings and a visor so really more like four items even though in the game here it's listed as 18 items i'm sorry but it's happening okay here's my closest recreation of the combat evolved anniversary 2011 cover now i totally understand people being upset about like the price point and also something like this being put into the shop like we've said in previous videos that halo has had a long history of being able just to earn all the customization within the box itself you buy the game and that's everything you get but halo infinite's a free to play multiplayer game and it's just not designed that way why did i decide to buy it? i'm sure a lot of people feel like this is something that should be earned within the game as it's such an iconic armor set so true to the halo experience i feel like this would be an amazing reward to have for a completion of a legendary run through of the halo infinite campaign as halo infinite's campaign does a lot of callbacks to the original ce experience and with this armor set looking so good you know people are gonna grind for it if they had the opportunity to do so but i feel like 343 knew that if they put this into the store people would definitely buy it and looking for my posts online it definitely shows that because every time i keep scrolling through i see people posting something about the armor set coming into the game through my algorithm here so people are definitely buying into this a lot to me it's just one of those things like yeah I get it. At least it's just customization, not a thing tied to the gameplay or anything like that. I like an exclusive weapon tied to the store or something. So it's customization and I'm not super into it, but when something cool like this popped up, yeah, I'll, I'll jump into it a little bit. But you know what the thing is as well with this is that since it's an armor kit, right, you actually can't customize the armor sets at all. So I don't know if it really holds that value that 343 was mentioning previously about the whole cross core thing kind of up in the prices because of that being cross core, but then having something like this worth 2200 credits, then not really being able to modify in a whole way. Like, yeah, you can add in some armor effects, which is pretty cool, but you can't change the armor set at all. You can change the visor as well, which is a nice change, but so you can, and also the coating on top of that. So you can make it a little bit more like your Spartan in a way, but still has rather limited customization options for this. Now, I will say that since 343 has been making progress when it comes to these kits and cores, we're having more cross core and things like that, more availability. I would assume that down the line, armor kits will have some ability to where you can modify them. Now, I could have sworn I read something somewhere, maybe even by 343 officially, that armor cores and kit that armor kits will have some more customization available to them, but just not here at the moment. So it might be more of an investment down the line in a way if you want to think about it when the customization that when or if armor kit kits do become more customizable, you can use your Halo CE kit or kits or pieces from the CE kit to then be put into your Spartan. The next big conversation happening in Halo right now is this trailer that was posted by 343 right here with just the title Fear the Pink Mist. 
Now, I'm assuming this is going to be tied into the combined arms operation that's going to be coming here on November 14th, which brings that Halo 3 refueled playlist that has all the classic maps remade for Halo Infinite, which is going to be really exciting. But I'm curious to see why they're bringing in like the Needlers. Why fear the pink mist as a reference? When we look at the key art for the combined arms operation, they are holding Needler ammunition, looking like it's happening in the Prism, that map that was recently put into Halo. But I just kind of thought that it would be something that's just kind of like a cool art style to be showcased in a new map. But this does seem to be tied into something about the Needler in some way. I hope it's not a uh, Purple Rain 24-7 playlist because that would just be mind-numbingly boring. With the name Combined Arms, it does just make me feel that like Firefight is going to be coming into the game. Hopefully, it just seems like that would be a proper terminology to use for Firefight. But I guess we'll just have to wait a little bit longer before November 14th. But if you guys want to see some Firefight gameplay and how to play it right now in Halo Infinite, well, check out this video right here. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.